Hello, and welcome to my life. This will be part two of taking care of stuff with Kismet the Feral Grandma. Now, I was taking video in the truck earlier, and that was reasonable, but I had to get away from my camera and send a message. Yeah, real life is going to take precedence, and it should in your life, too. But while I was outside enjoying the sunshine with the little dog, someone came to deliver a package, and I had to hold on to him because, as I said before, he's not well socialized. Now, he was a very good boy and did not chase the kitty that came in the yard. It came sprinting over like it had a mission to go under the steps and dive behind the skirting. I told him not to chase the kitty. He did not chase the kitty. The kitty ran off in another direction. But when a human dares to come by and drop off a box that we actually want, and I'm saying no, but he's growling and barking anyway, then it's time to come in. He's a little overstimulated. The dandelions were nice. No, I don't try to kill them. They're reasonably useful plants. I don't use them for anything, but somebody might want them someday. I think they're not even native. I think they are introduced. Because the roots have long been used by Europeans and settlers alike. And the leaves, I don't know what the oxalate level is in them, but people have considered them nutritious for a long time. So imagine coming here on a ship and you've got seeds for everything you want to grow. More seeds for things that are crop worthy like grains. And seeds for things that are medicinal like dandelions. So many plants are in this country because somebody considered them medicinal or because they got walked in. I found out that we have colored greens and probably the okra we eat too because people who are being captured by their neighbors or sold by their families, it has happened occasionally, had no idea if their familiar foods would be available where they were going. And they got forced marched to the coast, loaded into ships, and sold by people who were willing to sell others. That's not acceptable, but it does lead to interesting things. Like okra and collard greens being available to people who might want them as something new and exciting and different. Now, um... Me and the little dog came back in. It's almost time to make dinner. Uh, pretty sure somebody will be eating dinner as soon as I can make it. I'm getting tired. But, you know, had to check the mail. Had to go to the drugstore. Somebody's sick. When someone's sick, you go pick up stuff for them. Now, I think everybody would be less likely to be sick if they would eat a low inflammation diet because then you'd be less likely to be triggering your immune system. At least triggering it in ways that increase inflammation. I was mentioning the red truck earlier. I think it's an O1. Dodge Ram with a standard transmission. Yeah, I can drive that. A lot of people my age can't. A lot of people younger than me have never even seen a standard transmission. That's okay. Not judging. The option is out there. Now, if you actually know me in real life and would like to learn to drive a standard transmission, we can make an arrangement on that. It's a little stiff. 
it hurts my elbow. But it's still, it's still a running vehicle with new tires on it. Because when you have something, and I have something I have not added club soda to yet, I don't need to drink all those chemicals without diluting them. Diluting them means I don't feel as crappy after drinking the Coke. And hopefully that addiction will be gone soon. I like caffeine. I just don't drink as many things that have caffeine. And have an ingredient list. So long. And full of things I can't pronounce. I don't need that in my body. He was quiet when an unknown kitty cat was very close to him. He was not quiet when the girl delivering the box came to put it on the bottom step. I held on to him tightly. I know him. He would kill a shoelace in no time flat. Yes. Oh, there is the cat TV over there. Whether the guy sits on the couch or on the media stand, he can see out very nicely. But it's January, so the curtain is going to stay tucked up on the curtain rod for a couple more months. Let in all the natural light you can and go outside and get the vitamin D direct. Let the sun shine on your skin. Let your body process it. It's a reaction. It's something you're supposed to do. I go outside. I don't always have long sleeves. I don't always have long pants. I wear shorts much of the year and sandals. And shoes that go on and off easily. That's how I am. Also, I'm usually um, trying to disturb any eczema outbreak on my, I mean, for a very long time. I, my shoe selections have been least possible rub on eczema outbreaks. Now with that almost completely cleared up, I'm looking forward to getting cute shoes again. Now my weight is down. I already have a dress that's smaller than I have worn in a very long time. Looking forward to wearing it. I don't know if I'll be wearing it on my birthday or my anniversary or something. But I typically am more likely to be in play clothes. Yoga pants. T-shirt. Okay, a long sleeve t-shirt, but it's still pretty much a t-shirt. Pull it on over my head and mess up my hair where, you know, I might have brushed it already or I might need to brush it again after getting dressed. But, uh, yeah, no guarantees with this hair. There's a beautiful woman who probably has beautiful hair who has shorts showing on um, Facebook all the time. Encouraging people, in, including white folks, if you have damaged hair or at-risk hair, to use a bonnet. Use a satin or silk bonnet, I mean mulberry silk, whatever you can afford, to protect your hair so that you don't wind up with as much breakage, split ends, and knots as you would if you don't use a bonnet. Now, some of my hair could probably be improved with that advice. Smart young lady. And she says over and over again, it's hair care. It's not culture. Everyone needs to take care of their hair, and we'll all have prettier hair. 
I actually don't have a problem with the gray. But down at the ends, this is older hair. The whole um, bottom end is where it gets frizzy and damaged. And we could take better care of it. Right now I need to take care of me eating dinner. I need to make sure the boys eat because their mama is sick. I'm not sure what to feed them. I do know I need to order groceries soon. What dog is the next package here? Come over here. Come on. Lazy butt. Don't just throw yourself down. Come say hi in the camera. Little bitty guy. Little bitty guy does not make noise at a kitten. Makes noise at a nice lady leaving us box on the bottom step. Dude, that was so rude. Now he's being cute, of course. Love me, Mama. I protected you. Yeah. From a perfectly sweet young lady who was just leaving a box on the bottom step. Dork. Yeah, you're a darkable. His face didn't used to be all white up to his eyebrows. He used to be all blonde. Except for a tiny little mark on his head. That was probably a scar. Well, what do you think I have for, uh... You're having steak. What? You're having steak? steak. Uh -huh. Bye bye. <laughs>